Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. I am so unbelievably excited to be working with my friends at Mon Bento on today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of really easy and delicious vegan meals that you can meal prep for lunch, whether that be to take it with you to school or to work if you're doing so at the moment or to enjoy in the comfort of your own home. So throughout today's video you're going to see how I use the Mon Bento products and as well as the ones that I share in today's video they also have really amazing pocket cutlery sets as well as pocket sauce pots and a really really great water bottle if you are interested in trying out any of their products they have very kindly given me a discount code which is Amanda Ducks 10 it'll get you 10% off everything on their website until the end of April 2021 okay that is enough from me let's get into the food I really hope you enjoy today's video video. Okay so the first thing we are making today is a pesto pasta salad and I started by soaking raw cashews in boiling water for an hour then once they were soaked and drained I put them into a blender with some fresh garlic as well as a heap of fresh basil then I also added in some olive oil as well as lemon juice nutritional yeast and salt. I put the lid onto my blender and then I blended this all together. I was about to say until it was nice and smooth but in my opinion you want it a little bit chunky for a really good pesto. Then I cooked some pasta in boiling water and whilst it was cooking I sliced up some cherry tomatoes. You could use sun-dried tomatoes if you would prefer them. Once my pasta had drained and had cooled down I massaged it with the pesto. You know I love to use my hands when I cook so that's exactly what I did. I added then in cherry tomatoes as well as fresh rocket and tossed it all together. So the first product that we are using in today's video is the Mon Bento Square. One of my personal favorites. In the bottom I put some coconut yogurt as well as fresh nectarines, my favorite fruit. And then for the top container I put in the pesto pasta salad which I had prepared earlier. So we have the perfect balance of savory and sweet for today's lunch which I love so very much. I put the lids on, I stacked them on top of each other then I put the extra lid on top and put the Mon Bento band around to keep it nice and secure. Next up we are making a sweet potato and couscous salad. I love couscous a lot at the moment but let's start with the sweet potatoes. I drizzled them with some olive oil and then baked them in the oven until they were nice and crispy. I then prepared the couscous by putting it into a bowl. I then added in some boiling water and I also added in veggie stock because veggie stock just literally makes everything taste better. I mixed this together and left it to cook for a couple of minutes. It honestly doesn't take long at all. Then I put it into a larger bowl with some of the sweet potatoes as well as some sun-dried tomatoes. I mix this together well. Then after that I decided to also add in some cucumber for a little bit of freshness and I also added in some snow pea sprouts for freshness as well. I tossed this all together again using my hands. Next up we are making a little snack to go in today's lunchbox. These are my favorite almond butter chalk coated protein balls. I have a recipe for them on my website so I will leave it down below for you to check out. Then it comes to putting our Mon Bento box all together and in the bottom I first of all used one of the little boxes inside with some strawberries and then I added in a couple of the almond butter protein balls. In the top level I then put in some tahini into this little Mon Bento sauce pot which is super super convenient if you want to drizzle it on after you have prepared the salad. I then put my salad into the box and this is lunch number two. Again the perfect balance of savory and sweet. I put the lids on as per, put the lid on top and then I took it to the side to put the band on top as well. For lunch number three we are making a creamy cauliflower and potato soup. Now keeping in mind with this recipe it makes a lot more than you would put in your Mon Bento element but it is really really great to prepare in advance. So I chopped up some cauliflower 
and potato. I toss them with some olive oil as well as some Italian herbs. I really love an Italian herb mix these days. I feel like it just tastes so good with everything. I roasted these in the oven until they were nice and crispy and then I put them into my Vitamix. I then added some coconut cream as well as some cooked garlic and spring onion. I also added in water as well as veggie stock because veggie stock makes everything taste better. I added in salt and nutritional yeast after that and then I blended this all together until it was really, really nice and smooth and as you can see, very, very creamy. So then I put this into a saucepan over the heat to, well, heat it up and make it nice and hot because we are going to be able to keep it hot. And one of my favorite things to have with soup these days is crispy chickpeas. So I rinsed a can of chickpeas and then I put them into a bowl with some olive oil as well as some salt. Then I tossed this all together well and I roasted these in the oven to make some very, very crispy chickpeas. So when it comes to serving, I'm using the Monbento element, which keeps your food very hot or very cold. And obviously I wanted my soup kept nice and hot. So I put this into the Monbento element with some spring onions on top closed it nice and quickly and tightly and then I have some crispy chickpeas on the side to serve with them when I go to eat them. For our fourth lunch we are making some smoky tempeh wraps and as you may know I love tempeh very very much and today I marinated it in some liquid smoke as well as olive oil then some soy sauce and some barbecue sauce and so I tossed this all together until everything was very very well coated you could leave it to sit for a while longer if you would like to and then I fried it over the heat uh, for about like five to ten minutes until it was nice and crispy on both sides then it came to preparing my wrap and I first of all started with some spinach followed by some fresh cucumber as well as some fresh tomato I added some pepper as well as avocado and then my smoky tempeh then I also drizzled some tahini on top which I love so very much squeezed a little bit of fresh lime juice and I rolled it all up my years in hospitality have really taught me how to properly roll a wrap that is absolutely filled <laughs> as much as it could be okay so then we're going to place it into our Monbento classic which we love I love this design so much as well and so does Cara it is one of her favorites for my snack I served some peanut butter as well as some fresh cucumber which I sliced up some fresh nectarine and then I added a few squares of vegan dark chocolate I popped the lid on and then we had have our lunch which is our smoky tempeh wrap the Monbento classic literally fits a wrap so perfectly uh, I'm very very impressed by that and then I am stacking them together well and putting my band around again to keep everything nice and secure okay Lunch number five is a classic. It is a chickpea tuna sandwich. I love chickpea tuna so very much. And I first of all started by mashing the chickpeas with my hands. I then added in some corn, spring onion, garlic powder and salt, as well as some pepper. Then from there, I added in some vegan mayonnaise and then I mixed this together. I started with a spoon, but of course I ended up using my hands because that is what I do with my food. It's very, very evident at this point. I got some fresh wholemeal bread and then I put my chickpea tuna on this. You could add lots of different vegetables. All I really felt like was some spinach. So that's what I put on. I cut my sandwich in half and I am definitely going to have to make a sandwich after recording this voiceover because there is something just so different about a fresh chickpea tuna sandwich to go with this I decided to make a salad I started with some spinach and then I also added in some fresh basil oh fresh herbs in a salad just make everything better I then added in some strawberries as well as some vegan feta I tossed this together and then I also added some lime citrus is just one of those things that also makes literally everything taste better then for these I am using the Monbento square to serve my chickpea tuna sandwich with some greens as well as that I am also using the other half and in this I'm also putting a little insert 
insert, which is great. It allows you to separate things. Like I wanted to separate my salad with some cashews and then a lime. And so I'm stacking this and putting it all together like I have my other Mon Bento products. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below and I will see you very soon. Thank you.